Hello Solar Eclipse Timer users, this is Dr. Telepin again. One part of enjoying a solar eclipse is the partial phase phenomena. These are all of the interesting things that happen between first contact and second contact. It's taken me a year, but I have now made videos that discuss all of the partial phase phenomena. They total just over two hours of content. It's basically a video textbook on these phenomena. Eclipse event, open app. The progressive obscuring of the sun by the moon is such a unique process. It creates things we can observe on Earth that only happen during an eclipse. My app is the key to success on Eclipse Day, and this YouTube channel and my Solar Eclipse Timer website work in conjunction with the app to help you prepare for one of the most spectacular natural events you can witness. Let's go through the partial phase phenomena the way the app will remind you to look for them, and let me introduce you to the videos. After first contact, as the partial phases begin, the first reminder will be about observing for temperature changes. You will be reminded a couple of more times as the partial phase gets deeper. You will be able to feel it. I have an extensive explanation about how to monitor temperature if you want to do it. It's a fun and easy family science experiment. Next, my app will remind you to do pinhole projection pictures. This is also fun for the family. My video discusses all the concepts of camera obscura and tips on what to do for good pictures. Next, my app will remind you to look for the effect of sharp and fuzzy shadows. This is really crazy to see and wonderful to understand. My video discusses this in depth, including the experimental model I developed to look for it. Deeper in the partial phases, my app will remind you to observe for changes in animal behavior. One of the easiest will be to hear crickets going crazy. My video about this has a great chicken behavior movie. You'll be amazed. Then close to totality, my app will remind you to observe for the changes in ambient lighting. This is fascinating. It's complicated to explain, so I have two videos about this. Part one is about the pupil and retina. Part two concerns our color perception changes and some of my own solar limb spectrum data. Then right before totality, the very exciting shadow bands occur. My app will remind you to look for them multiple times. I have a part one and part two video about shadow bands. Part one covers the basics and part two concerns real video data and my research. Finally, I have a video concerning the dissipation of convective clouds during the partial phases. I do not have a reminder in the app about this because it is so weather and site dependent, but it is a fascinating thing to observe if your conditions are right. Thank you for watching this Solar Eclipse Timer episode. I hope I get you, your family, and your friends to be excited about enjoying the partial phase phenomena at a solar eclipse. It is a great addition to enjoying totality. I hope you watch all of the videos. If you like my work, click the subscribe button. Also click on the little bell that will pop up. Then you will be notified when I release new episodes about solar eclipses. My goal is to be your best solar eclipse resource on the internet. Thanks again. I appreciate your time.